Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we are back on the Political Machine 2020 and before we get into this episode I would just like to let you guys know that as of maybe Thursday or Friday or maybe even Monday next week at the latest I will be only uploading once a day rather than twice. Um, recently I've been uploading twice a day. I'll try to prioritise Political Machine content, make sure that's out the most. Um, so whether that's four days out of seven It'll probably be that. It'll probably be four days out of seven is political machine, and the other days are either the American election or Democracy Four or any other games I decide to play. So that's probably the schedule ish that's open to change and it's not set in stone. But just so you guys know, that's probably what will be happening. So make sure you've got the notification bell on so you know what's coming out and when. So anyway, we are in the political machine 2020 and we're doing another suggested scenario and we'll be playing as a Republican on painful difficulty as Sarah Palin Palin, Palin, I think it's Palin um, Conservatism is a, not an ideology I've played much in this game so I don't know if the tree's good, I've not done any test runs but I, I wasn't given an opponent so I will be playing against Joe Biden it'll be a what if Sarah Palin got the nominee I guess for the Republicans somehow because obviously it was going to be Donald Trump. Um, having a HQ in Alaska isn't very helpful, but Joe Biden's is in uh, Delaware, so that's not helpful for him either. I do like the hyper uh, stanima, because it means you can fly to a lot of places. All right, I need to remember, I am Republican. Right, let's go to Del uh, New Jersey, not Delaware. I always, whenever I get this one, I always get give the the dirt um, because I want to get the fixes because the AI. I was doing an AI only, and it was Joe Biden versus Donald Trump, and somehow they had like 20 million. I was in like in cash. Like I don't get how. They must spend half their time fundraising, which just seems like a waste in my view. Okay, let's go to North Carolina. Again, as my standard strategy is just to get as many HQs out as I can at the start, just start getting that enthusiasm increasing so that later on when the ideologies come in and when they start spamming out stuff I'm ready for it. Now I'm actually going to prioritise this event so that Joe Biden doesn't get it and national enthusiasm is really good, I like that and how many points do we get? Three. I have to do traditional values, liberty for all, strong military or tax cuts I'm going to do tax cuts because I have a feeling the ones coming off strong military won't be very good. I just I just have a feeling. I've never played this ideology before, if at all. Actually, I don't quite remember. Maybe I have, but I just have a feeling that these ones aren't going to be very good. So I'm going to head this way. Okay, yeah, no, right decision. Good. Good, good, good. Now that is also good for those red states. Now let's go to Florida and make sure we have a HQ there as well. That is a crucial swing state, which I never seem to win. Uh, the AI always puts smear merchants, spin doctors there, and I never seem to pick up the state of Florida. I almost just give up on it and focus on Rust Belt states. I have noticed that. Uh, maybe we'll change that at some point, but that's my play style at the moment. Let's go to New Hampshire. I'm going to New Hampshire because I get, it's just grinding up my enthusiasm. If I can win the easy four electoral votes, I'll try for it at the end, but I, I highly doubt it. I highly, highly doubt it. But as you'll see in my previous video with my uh, Adolf Hitler versus Bernie Sanders one, it was really, really close. And just going around putting HQs everywhere really helped, especially in certain states. Uh, make sure you check that video out. It was the closest election I've ever had on this game, and it was really fun to play. So make sure you go check that out. Um, okay, let's just go to Michigan and upgrade this. Literally my beginning game is just flying around upgrading HQs. That is my main main thing, especially in these states. Because I feel like it's understated how many points Pennsylvania is. Like that's twenty. That is very good. Well, let's get this one. And oh my gosh. That is amazing. I didn't know that was a thing. <coughs> the United States has run a significant deficit at various points during its history and has built up a substantial amount of debt. Supporters of a balanced budget believe it's time to reduce our budget deficit and reduce our government's total debt load. 
Opponents feel that the economic stimulating effects of increased spending are still valuable. This is amazing. 18 issues times 10% enthusiasm. That is amazing. What's this one? That's also good. So this entire trade, the, these four are really, really good. I didn't know that. I said, oh my gosh. Okay, so Connecticut, I'm winning. I'm just going to have a half-hearted attempt for Connecticut. Illinois is technically contested, which is bizarre. Illinois in particular, it's a big blue state, definitely won't go to me. But a state like Connecticut could definitely, if I grind up the enthusiasm, but Illinois is too big of a blue state for that to happen. And by big, I don't mean in margins, big as in population. <laughs> it's kind of what I was saying, it's scary stuff, what do we do to keep our country safe? Don't panic, listen to our experts. Private sector, good. Almost all my neighbours have electric cars. Should we get more of these things? Uh, yes, expand tax breaks for them. Um, we can target tax breaks to affordable cars. Okay, that was decent. I'm happy with that. I am happy with that. And let's get this smaller government. Then next, I believe we should do stronger military. Mm. Yeah, stronger military. Boom. Let's get this event as well. We, again, the fixes are amazing. I can't understate this. I am just going to upgrade that one. Maryland is in play. That is surprising. I doubt it will stay that way. But it's worth a shot. Massachusetts. This is this is what... I, I see Republicans predicting this as the election. <laughs> um, but whatever. Uh, Hawaii is in favour of me. This is mad. This is, oh wow. Wow, 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 wow. I'm just going to get HQs in all of these northern states, northeastern states. Just as a half hearted attempt, if I can pick up even one of them, that's safe states going away from the Democrats, which is really, really good. Okay. The Florida enthusiasm seems to be the similar, which is surprising, considering all the ideology points I've spent. Alright, he's addressing climate change. Okay, let's get national enthusiasm. Illinois is safe. Guys, I want you to capture this moment when all of these states were safe. So, let's take a look at some of these issues. I'm a not ahead on COVID. If I get ahead on COVID, that would be good. I might also try and get away from, get, get ahead on state unions. Because granted, Republicans don't like it, but in Illinois, there's only 35%. See, look at that. 50% is Democrat. So it's it's an uphill battle as a Republican, no matter what, in this game. Um, see, look at that. Enthusiasm 43% to 83 46 to 43 Like, that's so close. Alright, so I'd like a conservative. Because I'm a conservative. Um, let's see. Is there another conservative conservatism? Establishment Republican. Ronald Reagan. Yes, do Ronald Reagan. I want the best chance of winning. Eliminating fossil fuels and green jobs. Okay, I don't know whether that helped him or not. I couldn't quite see. I saw Nevada go red, but I didn't see anything else. Let's go to Michigan and Pennsylvania and get ahead on these issues so okay next time can I afford anything no okay prosecute okay he actually secured me some places he secured me Connecticut and New Hampshire which is very surprising actually now let's do strong military Okay, no, this one's okay. I predicted they would both be like this, and this is just bad. Wow. I think this is the most states I've ever had saved. Is Sarah Palin OP? I might do her versus Obama. I don't think she's quite that OP, but it would be in interesting to see. Very, very interesting. So the issue is now is I'm behind on climate change. I'm a high behind on renewable energy. So I don't think I'm going to win in Illinois, like from a realistic standpoint. 
Going with Tucker Carlson. Uh, I side with traditionalists. Good. Wall Street re weasels. Uh, no regulations, but no bailouts either. At the moment, we are winning the popular vote. Fantastic. It's week 13, so I still have time to go around through states. I may not necessarily win, but should put a HQ in. Hawaii is now safe. Um, Michigan is, in, is actually blue. Okay. Okay, I'm not as safe as I think because relatively all it takes is a couple more policies and these will go blue. In Pennsylvania, Michigan won't be far behind. Um, I may need a HQ in Virginia as well for the moment. Okay, let's get a fixer on that spin doctor. Good. Alright, now let's get ahead on these issues. So, auto industry and fixing the roads. So, alright, I can't do another one yet. But I'll fly to Illinois. Yes, yeah, see 50% already. He's got the entirety of the Democrat support. Which isn't, isn't great. Yeah, it's just gone blue. Yeah, I give up on it. Let's go here and do fixing the roads, and then fixing the roads again. So now I'm ahead on fixing the roads, auto industry, I'll get ahead on COVID. Um, and to see what happens. Okie dokie, right, where can I fly to? Washington, wow, that's surprising. Uh, Maine, even though I don't have a HQ there, I have higher enthusiasm. There's a smear merchant in Massachusetts. The fact that they even need that is very good for Sarah Palin's campaign. Let's go to Georgia. Ideology points. Ideology points. Good. Traditional values. 50% issue stance, 4% voter enthusiasm. Perfect. Right, this is definitely the most safe states I have ever had. Wow. Colorado safe, and that's not even like my home state. That's insane. Okay, he's got a smear merchant in Washington. I'm just going to get that one out of here. Um, Let's do a speech on coronavirus. So we can get ahead on that issue. Good. Good, good, good. Right, Rhode Island is now competitive. I'm just going to build a HQ there. I'm going to go to Washington and say I'll stop COVID. Good. I'll go to New Mexico and I will go to Massachusetts. I think without that smear motion, I'd win Massachusetts. And it is 11 electoral votes. It could be worth it. Watch me just get mobbed. Yep, there's one. Uh, this one will go into Michigan. Good. Good, good, good. Now we'll go to New Mexico and be like that. And then if I just get out of negative on renewable energy, there we go. Just like I thought, because I thought if I just like say I'll do it, but just not as much as Biden, I'll gain enough support to make it safe. And what well, do you know? I was right. All right. What are we saying? I just wait for his turn to go. They're trying for Texas. Don't know why. Let's just use this on the. Okay, so we both just killed each other's uh, sp <laughs> spin doctors. Um, okay, so Florida is now blue. That's not important. I always just seem to abandon Florida, but it has to be done. Uh, Vermont is close. I'm going to get ahead on Vermont now. What do they... Okay, get ahead on COVID. Good. Right, I'm ahead in Vermont. Let's go to Maine. And let's go to Massachusetts. 
supposed to get a smear merchant in Massachusetts? Good. Let's just see what the AI does, and then I'll decide what I do in response. Yeah, there's that one gone. Alright, let's go to Iowa and get the agents. Okay, that's not good. That's actually horrendously bad. I didn't mean to go to Nebraska. Alright, let's take out one of these with my fixer. That's fine. Um, how many points do I have? Zero. Now I'm not going for Maine then. Uh, Massachusetts is closed. Rhode Island is closed. Connecticut is safe. Uh, Michigan is tied, but I would win it apparently. Our issue score is the same. Our enthusiasm is the same. Wow. 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 Um. All right, let's go to Colorado. I think. What are their issues and how far ahead is Biden? Okay, I think I'll just do COVID. That should be enough. And if I could do it to New Mexico and stuff, raid the HQ. Right, last turn. I'll see what the AI does and then I'll give. Then I'll decide what I do. Okay, so just swarmed Virginia interesting choice that's 13 electoral votes okay so they s sacrificed washington to try and get virginia that's actually fair enough because it's one more electoral vote so i can understand their reasoning behind that uh so i'm not going to try for virginia they've clearly <laughs> swarmed it jesus christ um i'm just gonna right let's just take a look at these north eastern states behind in maine by a lot Pima, Massachusetts by one. Vermont, I'm, I'm equal. I think if I get a spin doctor, I believe I could probably get Michigan. Yeah. Or do I go for Pennsylvania? Um, because Michigan is going to me anyway apparently by this the polls say I'm winning by less than 1% so I'm going to take that risk and I'm going to try and win Pennsylvania and Wisconsin big brain plan ladies and gentlemen big brain plan uh, Maryland is apparently contested sure just because Reagan went there did a speech and was just like yeah sure it's contested let's go to Rhode Island Let's have a speech. What are their issues? Again, if I just go renewable energy, bada bing, bada boom, I gain one, they lose one. Perfect. Now, if I go to Vermont, I'm ahead. If I go to Massachusetts, then I fly to New Mexico again, that's 8% undecided. Surely I can shake some of that. Uh, apparently not. Let's go back to Massachusetts. Then we'll go to Vermont again. Then we'll go to New Mexico. Alright. Final exit polls have me at 306. Let's have the election night, guys. So, Maine, I don't expect to win. I do expect to win Rhode Island as well as Massachusetts maybe no New Hampshire yes Vermont yes good damn it's the first time the Northeast has been multiple colors <laughs> obviously Maine second district did go to Trump in 2016 but that's different um one Pennsylvania that's good Ohio I didn't really see Ohio being competitive as a Republican it never is but as a Democrat I can never seem to win it um Illinois yeah Louisiana, all oh, this should be this straight line should be mine. I think we know we I've got the presidency at this point. Sarah Palin was a surprisingly good character. I honestly didn't expect her to be so powerful. I think I'll play her against uh, Obama next because okay, I actually lost New Mexico. Uh, I'll play her against Obama next because she seems to be like that level, <laughs> almost almost that level, not quite. She seems to be, she picked up Washington somehow. Almost Alaska, uh, Hawaii apparently, and Maryland. So, there you have it.
In a shock turn of events, Sarah Palin wins the Electoral College by a bigger margin than Donald Trump, wins the, wins the popular vote by 3%, giving her a mandate to, to govern the country, wins northeastern states, I don't know how she appealed to there, she won Rhode Island, Connecticut, Vermont, and New Hampshire, this is probably the most colourful I've seen in the northeast, managed to win the rest out the gamble on sending the spin doctor to Pennsylvania and hoping we win Michigan, paid off. Florida was a, a close one in principle, not really close in polling numbers. Illinois ended up being decently close for Illinois. Um, California, that's alright, again, close for California. But a lot of these states, Wyoming, 87% in favour. That is insane. Absolutely insane. Percentage of your party in the state is 67%. Wow. Okay. Wyoming is very, very Republican by default. But again, I got 87% of the vote there, which is crazy. I think it usually gets around like 66 or something. West Virginia as well. All of these states, very, 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 quite very good for the uh, Republicans. And just take a look at Virginia for a second. I was winning that by a safe margin for the entire election, pretty much. And the last minute, they flood it with smear merchants, HQs, Joe Biden goes there, does a speech, and I lose it by 19%. <laughs> Did they, like, close off voting to south, west, south and west, uh, west of Virginia? Like, they only use the north, northeast polling. Yeah, New Jersey and Delaware weren't competitive. Maryland really wasn't. I don't like that it says they're toss-ups when you're losing by 5% in the polls. I think that's stupid. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, let's take a look at the polls. Um, I was winning on coronavirus, losing on renewable energy, losing on smaller government, loser on aggressing, addressing climate change, above in lower taxes, above in traditional values, very above in deficit reduction, above in assault weapon ban, above tiny, just just above on less regulation, and above on supporting green jobs. I spent, uh, well I got uh, three, four million more votes than Joe Biden, and spent ten million dollars less. Spent double his ideology points though, and as I say all the time, ideology points win you the game. So anyway, Sarah Palin and Ronald Reagan won the won the election. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Another thing, it's really depressing how multiplayer is just empty. I don't know if this is just like me or something, but it's just empty. It's so depressing. I wish there were people to play against. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. More of your suggestions will be coming out soon. Uh, probably in the next day or two, don't you worry. Um, but thank you all so much for watching. Take care and goodbye.